Reef knots are the simplest kind of knot. You might even know how to do one already. To tie a reef knot, cross one end of your rope over itself, then tuck it underneath and pull. It's really that easy. You can make it into a double reef knot by taking the same end, crossing it back over the other end, tucking it under and pulling once more. But be careful as double reef knots are tricksy and can be quite difficult to undo. A clove hitch is a way of tying a rope onto a stick, pole or similar. To do one, wrap your rope around your stick, cross it over itself, wrap it back underneath the stick again, and then finish it off by tucking the end underneath the loop you've just made. Make sure to pull tight and squish the loops together to secure it in place. Clove hitches don't look especially strong, but if pulled they will stay in place and grip much better than the stick than other knots, like a reef knot. Square lashing ties two sticks together at right angles to one another. You can use it for lots of things, like making a kite in the Kite Fighter UMA, or Dias de los Muertos, a traditional Mexican craft. Start square lashing by making a clove hitch on the upper stick, leaving one long and one short end. Take your sticks and put them at 90 degrees to one another. Then holding onto the clove hitch to stop it slipping, wrap your rope underneath the lower stick, over the upper stick, under the lower, over the upper, and so on. On your second go round, make sure the rope lies flat next to itself on each stick. As you're going, you want to be pulling tight enough so the knot isn't too loose, but not too tight or the sticks will spin round each other. Once you have gone around four or five times, wrap your rope around itself in the gap between the two sticks a few times, pulling nice and tight. It may be easier to understand what I'm doing if you think of it as going under the upper stick and then over the lower stick. Finally, do another clove hitch to tie the rope off. Tripods are handy on camps for balancing things off the ground so they don't get wet. You can make one yourself with three sticks and a longish length of rope. Start your lashing by making a clove hitch on one of the sticks, about one third to one half of the way down it. Leave one short end and one long. Lay this stick next to your other two. Bring the rope under the middle stick and over the end one. Then bring it round and back under that stick, over the middle stick and under the end one. Keep weaving your rope back and forth like this around the sticks. Try and keep your weaving fairly tight, but don't worry if it gets a bit loose because you'll tighten it all up later. Stop when you have about five rows of loops, then pull through the loops to tighten up your weaving. Next, wrap your rope two or three times around itself in the gap between the sticks. Pull tight, this is what holds your tripod together. Do the same thing in the other gap. Lastly, do another clove hitch to tie it off.
To make this into a tripod, lift up your sticks, push the end ones one way and the middle stick the other way. Then move them around into a triangle shape. Figure eight knots are used in fishing, sailing and climbing. They're handy because they pull tight, so they won't come loose if you're hanging off a mountain, but they're easy to undo once the tension is relaxed. Figure eight knots are mainly used as stopper knots, which means that they stop the rope from pulling through a hole, but they can also be used to make loops you can hang things from. To do a figure of eight knot, start by crossing your rope over itself to make a loop. Take the end that crossed over in front, bring it round the back, push it through the loop and pull. As you pull, you should be able to see the eight shape that the loop is named after. To do the loop version, just fold your rope in half first. Begin your packer's knot by crossing the end of the rope over itself to make a loop. Take the front end under the bottom side of the loop and over the top side. Bring it back under the top side so that you end up with a little zigzag shape. Next, turn that end to the left, take it over itself and under the loop so it comes out next to the other end and pull tight. What's different about this knot to the others is that the knot slides up and down the other half of the rope. This is handy if you're carrying something with it because you can take that thing out of the rope without undoing the whole knot.